all your progress to land, find an open area and press the A button. When landing in the water, you can sail on the astronaut. Lose your boat after dismembering the grand ship, don't worry. That's what the airship icon at the bottom will give it a touch. dialogue finally bro we got another airship we, we, we've been needing one of these since the beginning of the game there's like four more bosses right now Ship's inhabitants have evacuated on Moss, and according to what we have heard from them, Grand Ship did not sink, it simply vanished. How is such a thing possible? Alternus, where is the Wind Vestal now? After a brief stop in the Kingdom of Calvisla, she entered Grand Ship before it vanished. Her current whereabouts are unknown. Muster our forces with haste. I will have every last soldier be made ready for He knows something. He knows something. But may I be so bold as to ask our land of eternity is an inviolable realm ringed with lofty highlands. Sure. Even one such as the one yeah, he knows something. It is my hope I make much of not. Yet we cannot leave matters to hope or chance. For we now have but one crystal under our control. Could it be your lordship's daughter is providing the vessel with information about our defenses? Victor, hold your tongue! No, his fear is not without merit. Bring ill tidings. An enormous flying vessel has been sighted over Southmore, and it appears poised to alight there. Ill tidings? I fail to see how such a vague report is anything of the sort. S suffice to say, sir, it's a veritable fortress, far beyond the size of an airship. Could it be? Lord Marshal? This is the wind vessel's doing. Do you mean to suggest Grand Ship has taken flight? That it has surmounted the highlands that defend our land? How absurd. Spare me your flights of fancy. How do our defenses presently stand? Hmm. They stand ready for war, as your lordship commanded. And our troops in Frost Peak Passage and artillery at the summit are prepared to engage at any moment. We shall join the defense effort. Victor, is the demon child ready for war? I beg you, call her not a demon child. That is, if you hold your life dear. Hmm. And whether Victoria goes to war is not for either of us to decide. The decision is hers alone. But is she not receiving treatment as we speak? When she worked her magic upon me, she seemed more than ready for battle. Her fits grow in frequency of late. Is she not nearing her limit? There is no cause for alarm. None whatsoever. Yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's epic. I'll give them credit for that. All right, let's set her down here. The crystal lies in Everlast Tower. Isn't it in some manner of temple? There are no crystal temples in the Duchy of Eternia. Fifteen years have passed since they stamped out the crystal orthodoxy in this land and remade the Temple of Earth into Everlast Tower. We must reach the city before we can get to the tower. And that means a trip through Frost Peak Passage. The army has special defensive units stationed there to prevent any intruders. It will be a fierce fight. 
So I suggest we prepare before setting out. Das, and Zaz, I want you to take the proprietress and flee in the ship if worse comes to worse. Understood. You can count on us. The hell is that? Just sitting right there. Well, obviously, we're going to have to fight that thing. So let's get it over with. Yeah, He's not doing no damage. Quick work. I have another report, Lord Marshal. The Wind Vestal and three others have been sighted leaving that enormous vessel. They've already fought their way through Frost Peak Passage and are now approaching the city. Have we received word from the forces deployed to the various lands? I'm afraid there has been no reply from any quarter. Then there is no hope of reinforcements. Shut the valve for the white magic cables. Surely you don't mean that, Lord Marshal. It could very well have a serious impact on those receiving treatments in the city. There is not else to do. Should the tower be destroyed, the linked cables place the Earth Crystal in jeopardy. <laughs> Order all defensive units to intercept the wind vessel at the three passages from the city. Yes, your lordship. Turning a land of immortality. This is the land of your birth. It is. Then how about a rundown of the popular date spots? I'll escort you to whichever you wish. Actually, I'd rather. This city is unlike any I have seen before. It is a curious town indeed. Yet I hadn't noticed till I'd been away for some time. Idea, what are those stretching toward the city from up on that cliff over there? Those are the white magic cables. Within them flow energy waves that amplify the effect of white magic. The cables stretch between healing towers throughout the city, allowing patients to receive the latest treatments. That is why few in this land die of illness or disease. The people live in good health everlasting. Appearances would indicate otherwise. Waves that amplify the effect of white magic. Is such a thing truly produced here in this land? Well, the more precise term would be extracted rather than produced. Before I left Eternia, I was thankful for their beneficence. I harbored not a doubt in my mind. But now... Uh, Adia, from where does this cable... Adia? I thought that might be you! Hmm? It's been ages! We were classmates at the Officers Academy! Oh! I was worried when I heard you've been assigned to the Sky Knights. What a relief to see you safe and sound. Oh, and I heard about your mother, too. My mother? Has something happened to her? Nobody told you? She was recently admitted to the Central Healing Tower. The Central Healing Tower? What happened? You really have no idea, do you? Well, you'd better go pay her a visit, then. Uh. Well... I guess we go and visit the sick. The first thing is first. Check the weapons. 
definitely getting this. Um, Tell them if I'm gonna change their jobs. She did it. I wonder if I can get rid of those other I 
Oh, I need to sell some of this stuff because I got like too much. She's right this way. Mother! Why, Adia, when did you return? Never mind that. Are you all right? <sighs> of course I am. You mustn't trust everything you hear. And we've been feeling quite a bit better since I came here. Yes, but... Well, aren't you going to introduce me? about that. You see, I, uh... I am Adia's mother, Mazer Lee. Thank you for looking after my daughter. So, you are the Wind Vestal? <gasps> mother, how could you possibly know that? <laughs> I am the Grand Marshal's wife, after all. I hear much to which others are not privy. And I am particularly well informed about the Wind Vestal's traveling companions. Sir Alternus provides me with the latest news. Ugh, Alternus. I wish he'd mind his own business. But he knows. Oh no. We'd better get out of here. Oh, relax. I won't report you. After all, it's not that often that I get to see my darling daughter. Mother. My. You look almost grown up now, Adia. And to think you were such a spoiled little thing when you left. Mother, you're embarrassing me. Don't <laughs> listen to her, milady. We'd love an in-depth look into Adia's childhood. 
What a wonderful friend you've made. To be in your daughter's company, the pleasure has been all mine. You stay out of this, Ringabelle. How wonderful to see you so full of vim and vigor. I'm... I'm sorry if I worried you, Mother. If that is truly so, then there is one thing you could tell me. Why did you defy your father so? You must have a good reason, I'm sure. The world, it is being consumed in darkness. Many have already suffered greatly as the shadow envelops the world. Tis here counts among them. And the suffering and sorrow will only multiply if we fail to stop it. Agnes has been risking life and limb in her quest to rid the world of this darkness. Yet my former comrades in the Knights of the Eternian Sky sought to capture and even kill her. And it's not only the Sky Knights. The military forces, agencies, and consoles Eternia has dispatched throughout the lands, they all... They've done nothing but cause pain and suffering, and taken many upon many lives. I used to believe anti-crystallism was the true way, but... I know now that is not so. After traveling the world, there is so much I've seen for the first time. I've taken in all I've seen and all I've learned. And there, deep in my heart, I've come to know what is black and what is white. That is why I am here now with my dear comrades and friends. So you have come to do battle with your own father and the Eternian forces? No, you don't understand. We haven't come seeking battle. We've come to awaken the Earth Crystal. Awaken it? Yes. But then I received word that you were ill and receiving treatment. Now I don't know if I should. There's no need for that. No need? Mother, what do you mean? There's no need to worry about me. It's time for your examination. Forgive me, but this is where we must say goodbye. Please, do look after my daughter. Mother! Idea, the white magic cables extend to that medical tower as well. I wonder to where they all lead. To the Earth Crystal. What's this? Eternia has advanced its medical arts by extracting the crystal's energy. My mother once suffered from a debilitating disease. That she could speak with such vigor today is due to the Earth Crystal. But how could such a thing be possible? Even Vestals are incapable of extracting power directly from the crystals. It seems Eternian scholars long studied how to extract such power and finally succeeded. But I know no more than that. Wait. What would become of the central medical tower if we were to awaken the Earth Crystal? What of your mother, Adia? And the many others receiving treatment there? If the power provided by that cable were to suddenly cease, the people that depend on it to survive, they might all... Uh, as a Vestal, I can only say that this white magic cable is a desecration upon the Earth Crystal, and yet... There are people whose lives depend on it? But, but, only the Eternians benefit! I mean, not awakening the Earth Crystal is like... It's like abandoning the rest of the world to suffer darkness! It's not an easy choice, but we have to try! We can't let the whole world be covered in darkness! She's right. The peace and tranquility that Eternia enjoys is built upon the tears of others the world over. And I shall not stand for it. That's why I'm here with you. And that's why you must awaken the Earth Crystal, Agnes. Agnes! All right, then. I'm glad you understand. Now, to reach Everlast Tower, we must make our way through Eternian Central Command. There are three passages leading there from here in the city. We must pass through one of them, but be warned. My father has no doubt deployed an ironclad defense. 